So yes guys, welcome back. Welcome to another video on the Mazda 3 MPS. Now we're actually out today driving the car. I've got an essential trip to make, so we're gonna make it. One thing I've been waiting to do for a long time, now I have nipped here, there and everywhere, but I've not properly gave the car a good outing uh, with the short shifter due to obvious reasons. So today what we're doing, we're heading to the shops and I've got a nip to the post office. So I'm gonna make a video doing another drive in the MPS. Now I love it a bit more, now I know how to drive it a little bit better, etc, etc. We're gonna go out, drive the car, and have some fun. So let's do it. Yes guys, so like I said in the intro, uh, I've nipped here, there and everywhere in this car, but I've never actually gone uh, on a fairly long trip. So there's plenty of other YouTubers out here just going for drives and still making videos. This is our job, this is how we make our money. We're not claiming through the government, we're not getting 80% of our wage. If we don't make videos, we don't make money. So we have got to kind of, yeah. Anyway, so I haven't really driven the car. I haven't gave it a proper good thrashing, so to say, uh, with the short shifter in it. Now, since the last video, I have put this like bride kind of boot gaiter on it, which is fairly decent. It kind of just looks a little bit better, as you saw on the screen, thanks to having two cameras now. So yeah, we're gonna go on a little drive. We're gonna just, just literally just go on a drive, do a couple of pulls in the car. It's not wet today, it has been raining for the past like week, and this car's pretty lethal in the wet, so to say. So, we're gonna go for a drive, get used to this short shifter. Now, since installing the, since installing the short shifter and the dump valve, this thing backfires like no tomorrow. It sounds sick. So, when you're properly like quickly shifting into gears, uh, not even going fast, just let the dump valve let off, quickly shift into the next gear. It lets off a really nice bang. So we'll try and get some of them on camera. Uh, but yeah, let's just take it for a spin and uh, see what she's like. Right, so we're on, a, uh, we're on a pretty straight road here. I've come to an industrial estate to film this just so there's no one around. Uh, I'm on my own, no one to bother, no one to come within two meters of. Uh, so let's uh, let's give it a little tickle, shall we? That's fast. That's fast. <laughs> my camera detected as a passenger then. <laughs> Wow, that's fast. This car, now, in comparison to the Civic, the Civic was a very linear power. You put your foot down, there's a lot of show, and you go. With this, there's not much show, but a lot of go. I mean, I'm not gonna say the speeds we're doing then, but that was that was fast. It just, it's got there's so much drama with this car when you put your foot down. As you can see, it, it was throwing me all over the road, especially since I've unplugged the steering angle sensor. Just throwing me all over the road. Now, I've got a bit of an incline here, so I'm gonna put my foot down again. And just watch the wheel, guys. You literally, you have to hold onto this wheel or it is taking you into the oncoming traffic. So let's put my foot down now. Three, two, one. This car isn't mapped then this car is going to be a savage when it's got a map under the bonnet because if this is how Mazda let them out the factory then these shouldn't really be on the road because that is lethal like that that sent me into oncoming traffic no joke no joke that was mindsets of the performance of this car now 
if it's not already remapped, then I'm happy because wow, it's already a pretty scary car as it is. And wow, when it's mapped, I don't even know how sick it's gonna be. But if it is mapped, it won't surprise me in the slightest because it's pretty lethal. Like literally you have to hold on for dear life. Now, obviously being, being a Honda guy, not used to having torque. So <laughs> when I first put my foot down in this car, really did take me by surprise. I wasn't expecting it to, to, to be like this as so-called a standard car. So yeah, the thing is with these cars, there's not many people that can actually map these in the UK. So it's kind of very rare. It would be very rare for me to have bought a car that's already mapped. That would be seriously lucky, but we're obviously gonna get it remapped in the future. Uh, but, oh man, it's such a, it's such a, little burbles then at the back. It's such a fun car to drive, like, taking away everything I used to say about this car with the, the, the character and it don't give you much of a feel. Yeah, it's a, it's a heavier car than my Civic and it's not as raw as the Civic, but I wanted something different to the Civic. I, I, I love this, man. I, I think it's such a, a good all-round car. And when it's spinning like that in the dry, in third gear, it's serious, man, it's serious. to be over 300 horsepower you guys can see the way it's moving is next level like like i said mazda would have never ever let this out the factory as it is like i don't even know we've obviously we've, we've got traction control off uh, and we've got the steering angle sensor unplugged so it kind of does just let all hell break loose but we're going to find some roads and uh we're going to see what she's got Dump valve sounds sick, man. <laughs> right, we're gonna give it some round this roundabout here. See what the LSD is saying. this car didn't sell because I would have missed out big time like this is a serious car and I will never ever underestimate one of these again because wow that is I'm sweating I'm I'm sweating like my back is dripping it's a seriously it takes your breath away it's weird it's a very weird sensation anyone that's been in this car Lee can probably relate as well it is a very punch and like all over the place it's, it's just it just moves so weird but oh my god it's so fun now this is quite a slippy roundabout that i'm coming up to now so i want to see how this lsd uh, does cope now i have obviously been around some fast corners in this car before and as soon as you feel like you're about to let go the car just drags you around so now so with a map I'm almost scared of my first drive once this car's mapped but I've just realized we're not even talking about the short shifter in this the short shifter feels sick like it's so direct with the shifts now one thing I will say 
is when I first put this short shifter on, I had it all the way up to the shortest setting it could go, and it ended up grinding. It ended up like not going into gears as nice and grinding and crunching every now and then. It was just way too short. It almost felt like a bloody sequential gearbox or something, but we've turned it down a bit now. It's on about 30% short of throw uh, from the standard, and it's just, it's just so, just so notchy, it gets into gears like instantly. I have never missed a gear since, and it's just, I definitely, if you've got an MPS, 100% guys, get yourself one of these short shifters, it just transforms the whole feel in changing gear. It's really, really like spot on. to explain it than chaos. So I think I'm gonna cut this one here. So I want to, uh, now I've got the GoPro, I'm gonna do a lot more variety of videos now. So we're gonna obviously do like point of view drives, we're gonna do some B-road bashing drives. I just wanted to take my car for a little little test drive today uh, while we've got a nip somewhere. Uh, we did go to Tesco, by the way. Uh, while we've got a nip somewhere. I'm on my way to the post office now, so I just wanna take it for a little drive, film it, have a go with my GoPro. And like I said, we're gonna do like nighttime POV drives. Just let me know what you wanna see, man. I can just upload a full clip of me ragging the car with the GoPro on the outside. Just let me know what you wanna see down in the comments. Obviously, like I keep saying, we, we can only go out when we've actually got somewhere to go um, or something to actually do. I know the rules and regulations, the law in America is YouTubers can carry on as normal. You've probably seen all the American YouTubers going out to each other's houses, still filming, etc., etc., which is sick for entertainment, but it just sucks for us UK YouTubers that we just get absolutely slated in the comments if we do something different. Now, I, I, I'm not 100% like sure on what the rules and regulations are, but as far as I know, if you can go to work and follow social distancing guidelines, then you can still work. And me doing what I've just done then, um, and me going out driving the car or going to park somewhere and, and filming a video on my car, as long as I'm on my own, I don't see how I can be moaned at for that because that's kind of my job, that's how I earn money. And if I don't do that, I don't earn money. Drive week, driving videos are getting boring now so I'm gonna try and nip out here there and everywhere so I just wanted to just wanted to cover that uh, in this video just so you know just do you know what I mean I've got to earn my money so anyway guys I hope you did enjoy this video hope you did enjoy the, like, the new shots that we can get and the outside angles with the GoPro as you can see this car is savage I can't wait to start going bigger power with it etc etc sorry for rambling I just wanted to cover a few things uh, just then but yeah hope you guys did enjoy this video please remember to like comment and subscribe I'll see you guys in the next one peace